Hello, this is Ultra Saiyan 3 Trunks, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Pokemon Emerald. This is part 3, and there have been some significant changes. For one, there is no more live commentary on these videos, for reasons I will explain here soon. Um, first things first, I figured out how to get the audio from the video game that I'm playing to actually play. I know the first two videos, it was a big issue for me. No one else really seemed to notice, honestly. But to me, it's it's big because I love the soundtrack of this game. And it's just weird playing it silent. It's like, you know, I'm not deaf. You're not deaf. So, we can listen to the damn music. So, I had to give up the live commentary. Which is good in some ways because it's hard to come up with stuff on the spot sometimes. But that's still no excuse. Um... The only way for me to have the audio in the game is for me to download another recording software that I hook up my headset to and just talk to, talk to you guys through. So that that's basically the big change, the biggest change that's happened so far. So um, right now we're just going to head into the Pokemon Center and we're going to heal up. And... We are going to go next door. And next door is where you get HMO1. Cut. And this isn't really necessary to beat the game. It's actually not necessary at all. But it's necessary to get to some places that you normally couldn't. Such as to battle trainers and get items. And a bunch of cool shit like that. And I'm going to be catching another Pokemon right here. Now, I don't exactly remember how many attempts it takes and I don't remember when it shows up I know it's not long because the video is not that long I'm looking at the time it's not that long um it's not Taylo um I'm getting a flying type later in the game and that'll be a secret as to who it is oh there it is it's Abra yep I want Abra because I was thinking about using Gardevoir in the beginning but <sighs> Ralts is such a hassle to level up. I mean, so is, um, so is Abra, considering both of them don't know any attacking moves at all until they, like, well, until Abra evolves and until Ralts gets to level 11, I believe, he learns confusion. And, as you see, I failed my first attempt on, Ab attempt on Abra. But Abra is just, I haven't used Abra in a long time. So, I really want to train, train it up, get a Kadabra, get an Alakazam. Okay. And here we go. I'm going to see. I got to chuck a Pokeball at it. And let's see. One, two, three. Got it. We got Abra. Second member of the team. Level 7 male Abra. Um, the, the Pokedex entry is quite interesting. A Pokemon that sleeps 18 hours a day. Observation revealed that it uses teleport to change locations once every hour. Now... If it really stayed true to that, that would suck. You'd be in the middle of the Elite Four, and then Ope Abra leaves. See ya. But, anyways. Um. I, I'm gonna train up Abra off-screen. Because right now, I'm just gonna train up Torchic to Combusk him. Because I need Combusk him for Roxanne. And, um, this video, th this episode in particular isn't going to be very big. I'm, you're just going to see a couple trainer fights. You saw me catching Abra. It's not going to be that much because this is more of a test than anything. So I apologize beforehand. But next video, I will have trained up Abra to Kadabra. And we'll be ready to take on Roxanne. So, one thing I want to address. I'm not going to be using cheat codes on the Visual Boy Advance. I know it's very easy to. The only cheats I may use is the after game cheats to get to Birth Island and Mirage Island and Southern Island just to show all those events because those events are badass. Then I pull not Mirage Island, not Mirage Island. There's Birth Island and Southern Island. And I I'm almost sure that there's another one. I I'm probably wrong. I know Mirage Island is in the game, but it's not like I guess you could say a DLC thing they had to go to an event for it just shows up randomly. Um, I might do that, and I might also, because I'm not sure if you can actually trade on a VBA, 
um, I might actually generate it to where I can just go catch a wild Alakazam when I'm ready to get an Alakazam. And I'll train it, I'll train it up to the exact same level the Kadabra is at the time, and I'll give it the exact same move sets. And that that's about it. Because I don't want to have to go through the game with the unevolved Kadabra because Alakazam is just too good. So as you see now, Torchic just grew to level 16, he's trying to learn Peck. It's a flying type move. It's fucking awesome. You'd be weird not to teach it and get rid of focus energy because who uses focus energy? And one, two, and poof. And Torchic forgot focus energy. And Torchic learned Peck. Nice. And that is a weird way. What? I, 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 I. I could just imagine that big hiker guy just I, 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 <laughs> after he fucking moves. That'd be so hilarious. And Torchic is evolving. <laughs> oh. And. Oh. That'd be awesome if Torchic had just evolved into like a big ass Rayquaza. How cool would that have been? I'd <laughs> just sleep through the entire game. Oh man. Yes. If this is your first time, delete a move for double kick. Preferably growl or scratch. Neither of them are really good moves. And you get double kick because that's unless you teach it brick break, it's not gonna be learning or rock smash, which I don't know why you would teach it rock smash. It's not gonna be learning another fighting type move until level fifty nine, I believe. And it learns sky uppercut. Um but you get a move later on in the game and it's actually the only non attacking move I'll probably keep on any of my Pokemon besides status effect moves. And that'll be bulk up, but we'll we'll come to that road when we get there I guess that that was awful I don't even know how the fucking saying goes but yeah we're just gonna run back we're gonna go buy some items here soon and we're just gonna stop out in front of the gym and I'm gonna do some off screen training and then I'll upload another video later and we'll take on Roxanne but a couple things I want to address before this video ends um I I just want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far. I think we're up to 56 subscribers already. That is fucking amazing. I really, and it's really making me feel good about all the positive feedback you guys are giving me. Saying, you know, you're just encouraging me to go on and on and on. And uh, I appreciate that. And like I said before, whether you like it or you don't like it, I don't care. I can take it. Take, just throw anything at me, criticism, whether it's positive or negative, whether I fucking suck, my voice is annoying, I'm fucking garbage at this game, whatever, just tell me anything so I know what to improve on, so I can bring you the best that I possibly can, and that is pretty much it for this video, um, I just, again, just thank you, um, if it's not too much trouble, just hit the like button because YouTube views are fucked up for some reason like they don't register like they should um leave a comment please if you do anything just leave a comment letting me know what I can do to improve or tell me what I'm doing right and what I need to keep doing and uh, give me some ideas for some topics to talk about just whether it's like games or music or something so I can just keep you guys entertained through, through the videos and um yeah, that's that's about it. So until next time, this is Ultra Saiyan Three Trunks, and I'll catch you guys later. Until next time, guys. Just I'll, I'll see you later.